Okay. Uh, the council just rejected a proposal for a new marijuana dispensary, partly on the busyness of the location. Um, where should those go, and where should they not? Uh, to be honest, I have not looked into that a lot. Uh, I've had uh, health issues in the family lately, so I would, did not actually even know about that issue until after the fact. Um, well, speaking generally, where should they go and where shouldn't they go? There are limits on on the closeness to the to schools, for instance, already, which tends to push them out uh, toward the uh, veterans and such. Yeah, toward the edges of town. Uh, what sort of rules on placement are reasonable in your view? To be honest, I would have to look into the issue more closely. Okay, how about n the number of them? Are they like liquor stores, or are they um, something a little that should be a little more restricted? How many is too many? I think that is something that kind of needs to be addressed gradually. Um, obviously, you start with one or two. If we find there are no issues, then potentially ramp it up until you find out, okay, this is too many, and then you throttle back. So uh, other candidates have, have said, you know, we're paying attention to what the people are saying right now, and they're really mixed right now. Yes. Um, because this is new, and their analogy is the 1970s and normal changing from a dry town to one that sells alcohol. They were really restrictive at first, and as people got used to it and realized that they could manage it without problems, that they loosened up. Where where do you think uh, society is on that spectrum right now? I think that's a, a very good analogy. Um, you have some people who, you know, it should be treated like a quickie mart. And, you know, if you have one every half mile, some people are okay with that. Um, some people say we shouldn't have them at all. And, again, I think the, as you said, the 1970s when we went from dry to allowing alcohol is a great parallel. Do it gradually and so that the people that are naysayers can see whether or not they're right and the people that are gung-ho can see whether or not they're right.